Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions and today we're going to be go over a mechanics and materials problem with a simply supported beam. Now go ahead, get out your FE reference and have it on the right digitally. That's how it's going to be on the exam and try and attempt this problem without me solving it. Try and find the correct answer and then we will go into the problem in depth. So now I'm going to launch into the solution here. So I have this simply supported beam. You can see this is exactly the same. This is pulled from the FE reference manual. And we need to find the maximum deflection and moment of the beam seen below. Young's modulus equals 1000 PSI and the moment of inertia is I equals 124 inches raised to the fourth. So that's what we got there. Now we need to find deflection and moment. Moment looks easier to solve for first, so let's try and solve it. The max moment equals P, which is 10 kips, times L, which is 20 feet. Now we don't want just want to use feet, right? All of our units are in inches. So we need times it by 12 to get it into inches, and then we're going to divide by four. So all this divided by four is going to equal 600. So it's going to be D or C. But we need to find out which one. So we need to find the deflection, the max deflection here. So we need to have negative P, 10 kips again, times L and the raised to the third power. So 20 times 12. That's all going to be raised to the third power here, divided by 48 EI. So 48 E is 1000 times I 124. And that gives us negative 23.2258 uh, inches is how much it's deflecting. So it looks like the answer is D in this case. Now there's a variety of ways we can, um, you know, or a variety of different beams we can have set up on the FE exam. That's just one for the simply supported beam here. It may also ask for you to solve for the deflection or moment at a specific location. You would just plug in a different value for L. For example, they said they want it a third of the way through the beam, you would do 20 divided by three uh, to find what that moment was, or what that deflection was. So the answer is D in this case. Let me know if you have any questions down in the description down below. Um, we have a free guide how to solve any FE exam problem in five steps. You can also download that and find that in the description. And if there's any problems you'd like to see, let us know in a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.